different than 10 years ago. <laughs> I'd like to welcome everyone here uh, to the beginning of the 2022 football season. Uh, with, uh, practice starting today. Uh, of course, uh, Coach Mark Stoops here in his fifth season in Kentucky. Uh, it'll be a school record most seasons as a UK football head coach. And uh, enters the season with 59 victories, uh, one shy of Coach Fair Bryant's school record of 60. Uh, a couple landmark things to get to uh, keep going, and we'll turn over to Coach Stoops. Thanks, Tony. Uh, I'd like to first start by acknowledging and uh, and just reiterating our support and uh, prayers for the people in eastern Kentucky and throughout the state and all the people that are affected. Uh, certainly, there's people still recovering in western Kentucky as well, and to um, just try to help in any way we can. Our team is uh, going to do several things. Uh, really don't want to get into that today, but we're going to do several things to help while we can. You know, we're at a very busy time. Um, but uh, that is certainly at the forefront of what we're thinking about and praying for those folks in eastern Kentucky. Um, as Tony mentioned, uh, you know, 10 years seems like it's gone back very fast at times and uh, very slow at times. But uh, I'm very privileged to be here for nine years going on 10 and really excited about this football team. I really feel like our program is in a position uh, that we're very confident in, in what we're going to do. I really have a lot of confidence in the staff and greatly appreciate the hard work and dedication that they give, uh, along with our team. You know, uh, very strong leadership on this team. And that has a lot to do with the foundation of the players uh, in previous years. So I uh, really feel proud of the work that we've done. Uh, we certainly know we're far from uh, being where we want to be. You know, we want to continue to climb, continue to push, and uh, constantly grow the program and, and take uh, steps in a higher direction. And, uh, you know, that's our plan with uh, one day at a time. And uh, I know that gets tired. You guys get tired of hearing about that, and we talk about it often, but you know I'm going to say it. It's, it's about what we do today. I felt like today uh, was by far the best day one practice we've had in the 10 years that I've been here, but it should be. You know, our foundation is, is uh, set in stone, and, and uh, you know, we have a returning quarterback, and we're able to work with our guys more than we ever had this summer. So we should be further along in day one. But we were, and uh, that's good. And uh, as I mentioned, I really feel good about this team's uh, leadership, but also their work ethic and dedication to what they're doing. And uh, we're off to a really good start. We have an awful lot of work to do. And we... Um, you know, I have a tendency to, at this point forward, kind of get into our our cave over there, that beautiful cave in the Joe Craft Center, but uh, get into our cave and, and do an awful lot of work. We have a lot of work to do in the next month as we prepare for the opener. Um, so, all right. Any questions? Mark, any update on Chris's status? No, I really don't have any comment on, on Chris's status at this point. Mark, you've been on 10 years. Anything over the last 10 years that you remember finding? Oh, I mean, just there's many, there's many good moments, you know, many good moments. I mean, obviously, uh, as as I was talking with the team yesterday and and with the staff, you know, we in football and probably most businesses, we we learn by mistakes. You know, those scars really stick out to us. And so we tried not to ever let those same mistakes happen again. And uh, I remember a lot of those. <laughs> so, so I seem to remember those more than the wins. <laughs> Mark, you've had quite a bit of turnover. I guess it's the normal amount of the 10 years you've been here. And yet you keep building successfully. Why is that? Well, you know, our, our culture is not going to change. You know, I could go back to year one and, and all that, and but it, but it's true. I mean, you know, there's, there's, and you've heard it many times, but it's true. I'm not a big cliche guy, but there's climate and then there's culture. You know, you could change a climate rather quickly, and uh, a culture takes a long time to engrave. And if we do that and we do it correctly, then you could sustain the highs and the lows and the, you know, the turnover and whether it's, you know, players or coaches or anybody. And uh, so I don't look at it like that. I always look at it like it's an advantage, and uh, I have great respect and appreciation for all the former players and coaches. 
Um, but it just put us in a position to do what we're doing now. Mark, you get a lot of comments about your overall schedule. Uh, I'm going to admit, I don't really hear anything about it, but. <laughs> yeah. You know, Miami is supposed to have one of the best teams coming back they've had in years, and not, and they're going to win that part of the division, and Northern Illinois is likewise. Yeah. So in, in the MAC, they're both two, two strongest teams in the MAC. There are two very good teams, and um, the, the two of uh, many good teams on our schedule, and uh, I, I don't think I ever have to apologize for the schedule that we play in the SEC. Well, take, why don't you take a good look at some other leagues? Mark, <laughs> uh, Carrington's coming back uh, as a junior. He seems like a really important part of y'all's defense. How did you feel his offseason went? I um, mean, you think he's kind of a guy that maybe – yeah, yeah. I, we need him to continue to elevate. You know, we were just in there watching film after our early morning practice this morning, and uh, you know, just some of the things you see him working on day one. You know, he took a lot of good coaching. He's got a lot more confidence. He's playing a lot more patience just in day one. Uh, but 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 he certainly would be a guy that that should take that that next step. We have a lot of confidence in him. I love his attitude. He works hard. He cares. And uh, is working extremely hard. So uh, one day at a time, he'll continue to get better. You put a lot of emphasis on length at that position. And then on the opposite side, a lot of speed. Do you mm. see that show up on the field? We do. We feel like, um, you know, there's you know, definitely some fair questions on both sides of the ball with the skill, you know, in the secondary with the experience and with the wide receiver and uh, position. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we definitely needed to get some length, and and really the guys we brought in all have good good length with uh, Kedron um, and Jordan, and then you know Alex Afar is a guy that we're really high on too with his great size, and he's very versatile. Just just seeing some things early in him that that I really like, and uh, you know, so we really feel like we're getting the length that we're looking for there, and of course at the wide re receiver position, everybody's you know worried about that, but uh, I really feel good, you know, I really do. I feel, um, you know, with Dane and Demarcus and uh, uh, Tavion, you know, they they give us the the right amount of of uh, experience and playmaking ability. Obviously, Dane been very young, but being here in the spring uh, picks things up very quickly. Uh, Tavion having very good experience, and I feel like DeMarcus is going to take another uh, step. But then you look at the other guys, and you got Christian Lewis, I feel really good. You got DeKal coming back at full strength. Barion showed up today already. And, um, you know, of course, Chauncey's uh, really, really strong. And then you got the young guys that could just absolutely fly with Jordan and Brandon. And so I really feel like there's a really good mix there and some really good quality. Well, well, Alex, when you're so versatile, what do you do with the young guys so they don't Well, you know, it's always been my philosophy, like going back – 25 years, when I get a big, versatile guy, I, want, I always want to start him at corner. So I want to teach him those man principles and, teach, you know, put him in the hardest position. You know, so, um, you know, corner is one of the very hardest positions as far as application. You know, so, um, you know, and just playing that position is difficult. And uh, who, who has the talent to do it? And so early on, one practice, you know, but I feel he does. And that gives us the big, big corner that, that we're always looking for. And, but, but also getting them on the field is something you got to think about. And we always talk about that medium nickel position. We would like to, you know, as we get more versatile, play some man, do some different things, you, you got to have a good cover guy at that position as well. So it's not necessarily a, a hybrid, you know, nickel Sam linebacker. You got to have a guy that can cover. So we're, we're exploring there to continue to develop, continue to help our defense. Zion sure part of the attraction to him was his coverage ability. Yeah, Zion just experience. You know, very, very, a uh, lot of experience and uh, good football players. Got a lot of, a lot of snaps under his belt. Mark, whether or not you guys spend any time in the season without Chris, how do you feel about the rest of that position? The rest of the program? We feel just fine about it. You know, we, we feel like there's some really solid players there that are, you know, have a chance to, to break out and do some really good things and. You know, all, all those guys, Lavelle, Jaton, you know, Cavassier, Ramon, the new new transfer, Michael Drennan, I mean, all, all those guys we have confidence in.
How big a deal was it for Jordan Anthony that he didn't go to Columbia this week in terms of he's going to make an immediate impact? Yeah, I mean, it, it just says where where his head's at, and I, I want the best for the for the young man. You know, he's he's special, and uh, you know, elite speed, and and uh, you know, the, in this world, down with name, image, and likeness, and a lot of things. He's he's leaving a lot on the table by uh, staying here and being with the team, and uh, we appreciate it. And want him, want him to do what he wants to do, and want want, want him to get to work. Mark, with expectations. I feel very good. I feel very good. Um, DeAndre has been very uh, steady there. You know, we have a great one, Keontae, uh, backing him up. Jeremy's done a really good job on the other side, along with David. You know, David Wollenbaugh has been uh, a pleasant surprise, you know, and, and doing a really, really, you know, solid job. So we are thin at the offensive line. Uh, Josh Jones is out as well. He he's uh, He's been off and on, you know, with injury his whole time here, really, and it's too bad for him, uh, but he'll have a, a procedure done where he, he will be out for the year. And that he hasn't played much for us, but it, it's it's depth that we need at that position. So Does we'll be looking at it. has been set here, you know, like five offensive linemen drafted in the last four drafts, mm -hmm. the big blue wall and kind of the legacy. Does that, you know, give guys something to shoot up? Does that lift that room? I mean, we, again, that's – you know that's the standard that we've created, the, the culture that we have. They understand that and know that. And this group really works extremely hard. You know they they you know put their head down and go to work. And it's anchored by a pretty solid fellow there, and Eli in the middle. And Kenneth has an awful lot of experience. And uh, you know bringing Tayshawn in, you know Manning is is a big help. And Jagger's really progressing extremely well. I'm very happy about him. So we, we have. Uh, the right amount of guys to play to get that rotation that we like inside and outside, but we don't have a lot of depth, you know, with some injuries and different things. So we got to uh, continue to recruit and bring guys in in that area. Quarterbacks behind wheel. Yeah, um, you know, uh, Deuce and Kaya, uh, both of the, they'll, they'll be battling out for the backup position. I think both of them have taken a really big jump this summer and have worked really hard and uh, they both have shown signs and we'll let them continue to play. We have a lot of time till our first game and, and everybody will make a big deal about that but to us we'll just practice one day at a time and, and see where we're at and make a decision on that later. Mark, is Isaiah coming healthy again and what yeah. did you see from the team from James last year and do you think you can elevate with the new tight end front the offensive? Yeah, I think he's going to make a big difference and, and just seeing him out there today already caught my eye because he missed all spring. You know, so um, it was nice having him back out there, that's for sure. When you put the, you know, top three wideouts in there that I just talked about, and, um, you know, in, in uh, Tavion and DeMarcus and Dane, and then you put him in the mix, that's a pretty good group. And uh, so he, you know, he's full strength and going at it and hopefully they'll stay healthy. Mark, one position on your whole team that you don't have any question about is linebacker. Mm -hmm. How excited are you? about that position. If you had Weaver and White, how do you get enough snaps to put four or five of those guys on field at once? Well, outside won't be hard because we're, again, we have some really good young players there, uh, but with uh, Jordan and JJ back at full strength, I know having JJ back, you know, he, he played obviously all last year, but it was a short time after having an ACL, and those of us that have gone through that, that's, that's tough. Um, but him being a year further removed from that and healthy will make a big difference in his play. And the same with Jordan, back a little heavier, got full, you know, full strength going at it. And then, you know, we feel like we have some young players there in uh, Noah Matthews, Keaton Wade, and, and Tyrese Fairby. Fairby. Um, they're all good players, good young guys that have different talents, and we've got to bring them along. Inside linebacker, we're really, really uh, uh, de deep with uh, Jaquez and, and DeAndre anchoring that, but getting DJack back at, at 100%, and then uh, Trevin Wade's a guy we got to get on the field. He's too good of a football player, and the same with Martez, and really Luke's playing well, so we feel like you go uh, three deep there inside, which is good because that's a very physical position, and you're going to take, you're going to get banged up. Has, has all the freshmen made it to campus? Um, not all. Mark, with uh, you talking about all the newcomers and people having to step up with you know with different positions, what does it mean to have somebody like Will with his leadership and experience from last year and just seeing what's going on? Well, that's you know it's it's fantastic. I mean, it's you know he's a a great leader and um, starting with his own work ethic, you know, and 
our, one of our first principles in, in leadership is, is lead yourself, and he certainly does that well. And uh, then he has the impact to affect those close to him and then get to the point where he's at now with the confidence with the year under his belt, he affects the entire program and the culture of our program. And, and everything about him is authentic, you know, and that, that's uh, really good to see. And I think any of us that have seen people that you could kind of see right through um, doesn't take long. And uh, you can't see through him. I mean, because he's he's real. How's he handling all the hype that's been going around him? I know he's had some high-level players before, but this no. preseason hype. I have no issues with that because he is very motivated. He's very driven. Uh, you know, just just in his his own ability. Mark, you said today was the best day one practice you've mm -hmm. seen in ten years. What did you see specifically today that makes you say that? Just much cleaner, both sides of the ball, um, executing, knowing what to do. There were some slight rule changes that allowed us to spend more time with them, so we should be a little further along. So take that with a grain of salt. But, uh, you know, it, there is growth in the program, and there's strong leadership, and they've worked hard this summer. And I think just overall execution. Obviously, we have a quarterback coming back, and, and other quarterbacks that have taken quality reps in practice this summer. And, and uh, just with uh, exchanges, formations, snap count, you know, uh, pre-snap penalties, you know, all that, it was just much cleaner than normal. You've stressed you physicality time. from day one. Mm -hmm. What exactly do you mean by that? Is it more than just being big and strong? And uh, how how is this team stacking up? Well, there, I, I don't know. You could define it how you want it. You know, there's a lot of different ways. But I mean, when we put on the film, we have a pretty good idea of what's physical and what's not. You know, <laughs> maybe you could go back and watch the TV copy. Why is it so important? <laughs> <laughs> so, Why is that so important, uh, playing in the SEC? Well, I mean, because endurance, um, you know, I think the, the, you have to be physical to, to have consistency, in my opinion. And... Uh, you know, that goes across the board. I mean, even as we were touching on it earlier, the length of skill guys and size of skill guys, there's, there's a place for all different sizes, believe me. Let's look at Wandell last year, you know, arguably one of the best players we've had in a long time and, uh, you know, certainly uh, played extremely big. So, uh, but overall, I mean, it's just, it's important to me. It's a, it's a foundation that I think we have to have. It's a, you know, you want consistency in this league, then I believe it matters. Mark, you've been in the Vince been campaigning three or four times. Can you talk about the Well, you know Vince is always calling for that. It's the only place suggestions he ever makes. <laughs> so uh, he's doing that. But, no, Rich likes it, likes being multiple, so it's a tight end friendly offense, that's for sure. So they should get some action. Sorry, right here. We were, we were up there. Yeah. I mean, I, what do I, what, I mean, it's my destination, you know, you know, to, for now, until you boot me out of here. But, uh, you know, but, you know, it's, I've been here, you know, like I said, nine years going on 10, so you don't have to sell me. Are you ever worried that your players are here in, too many nice things and too big of expectations. <laughs> the board stuff to put up in there. Uh, you know, you always, um, you know, toe a fine line there. But the, our players know that I'm very real with them. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, if we've, they're going to hear it, it, I'm not one of those guys that I look at my calendar and say, okay, this is an ass kicking day. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it, it's just not. It's not. I'm. I'm. I, if it, I would wear it on my sleeve. If we were bad, I'm going to get after them. If they were good, I'm going to tell them. I mean, generally right now, th there's you can't pat them on the back too much because there's too much work to be done. I mean, there's just a ton of work to be done. And, um, you know, we have a lot of work to do as a staff and, and uh, the players, and there's just too much to do. There's so many situations you can't possibly get them all. And, uh, but we try. We try to you know, get our football awareness and football IQ very high, so we play all situations right. But I mentioned that to the team yesterday. I mean, we could play 95% of the game right and play physical and do all those things, but if we play a situation wrong, you lose. You know, so there's a lot of work to do, and that's our focus. So, uh, no, I mean, I don't worry about that too much. They're, they're going to get after them.
Coach, we uh, uh, talked about the tight end room, mm -hmm. and then you also talked about Isaiah. I was wondering mm -hmm. if you could speak on Keaton Upshaw coming back from that injury, where he stands, the role you expect him to play this year. Yeah, it's nice to see Keaton out there. I mean, obviously he's had a couple of bad breaks, and uh, hopefully he will he will stay healthy. Um, he's definitely um, – has that size that we were mentioning earlier, talking about. I mean, he is, uh, he's a big target and uh, very athletic and, and could do a, a lot of things uh, for a tight end. He's a complete tight end. So I'm um, really happy he's out there, and I hope he stays healthy. Coach, do you have a message for the people of Eastern Kentucky right now? Some Yeah, it, it's extremely hard. A, a, a message, no. I mean, I talked to Coach Moore, and uh, – extended our condolences and, and uh, offered up our services. We're collecting as many things as we can that we're permitted to donate through it, through the uh, football because their locker room was destroyed and all the things there. But uh, I did mention that to Coach Moore of, of um, you know, there, there's, it's devastating. There's mass destruction. I mean, it's, it's horrible no matter where you look at it, you know, but uh, certainly I saw certain clips of, of that, of, of their locker room, and they're digging themselves out of that, cleaning themselves up. And uh, I just wanted them, him to know that we're here to help them and support them and donate things as we can. Uh, and again, we, the, the, the team's going to do a couple different things to, to help. And uh, we'll continue to do our part. And uh, I guess my only message will be to Eastern Kentucky, continue to stay strong like they are. Those are tough, strong, resilient people. And uh, we're going to do a lot of things to try to help them in the meantime, but we're also going to go out there and play extremely hard and hopefully represent them the right way that they uh, really have something, you know, in the fall to uh, smile about.